Thank you. I've seen them. They're here at the uh, Wall Street stop for the east side line, not on the west side lines yet. Why are they better than a MetroCard? They're much faster. So, uh, and you can use uh, ordinary credit card, you can use your phone, you can use your watch, and you'll be able to use barcodes. And so uh, you can uh, tap this and go through, oh, it didn't work that time, <laughs> go through this time. I had the card turned the wrong way. But in less than uh, half a second, you can get through a turnstile. It's revolutionary technology in the sense that we'll have one account for each patron. That one account could be used for all transportation needs within the city. So I can set up an account? I mean, I'm curious because right now, for example, I have a monthly card for which I get a discount and I can ride as much as I want. How will I be able to replicate that with your system? So you'll be able to go online and replicate that experience going forward, and you'll be able to use that as we expand the system for uh, potentially all modes of transport within the city. So I'll have the account, and, it'll be on my, and then I can just use my phone? Absolutely. And when am I going to be able to do that? So we started rolling it out, as you talked about, at the beginning of this month. Uh, the rollout is a phased rollout. We'll take a couple of years to roll it across the whole system. It's going to take a long time to educate the million-plus people who ride three, whatever it is, millions of people who ride the subway every day, I would think, as well. Yeah, of course, there's an educational process, and uh, it's actually uh, pretty simple. You just tap, and you go. There you go. There you, you got go. it right, this right, time. Right. So yeah. does that mean Metro cards go away completely? So Metro cards uh, will be phased out over time. What's All your right. core competency? In other words, what are you doing better than any other of the potential vendors that the MTA and or any of these other municipalities were considering in terms of turning, putting this in? Well, first off, we have vast amounts of experience in the United Kingdom, North America, and Australia. We interact with 70% of all the people who use mass transit every day with ticketing systems. That's over 50 million people a day, four times a day. I would say our core competency, as opposed to doing, uh, doing this for many, many years, is we're a fabulous system integrator of lots of various technologies. And that would mean what then? What are you integrating here that's going to make the experience better for all of us who ride public transportation? So what we invented here was the one account. In the past, we had a prepaid card. You put money on the card. You'd interact with the reader. It would take money off. We've moved that to the back office so that the card wakes up the back office, um, talks to the one account, if you will, and lets you through. But some people use cash. I mean, what if you don't have a credit card? So uh, various cities have dealt with that in various ways. We, we found that there have been aspirations to get rid of cash. Sometimes that hasn't always happened. Um, but you can turn cash uh, into uh, a card and use that as a prepaid. All right. Brad, thank you. Thank you so very much. We'll be watching, and I assume I'll be using it one You're of these days. With the time. You might even occasionally on those, that rare occasion you get on the Sometimes. subway. When you give me it. enough grief about being late to yeah. somewhere.